Okay, so for some reason with all the lights on, it's still dark. I don't, okay, there it is. looks blue now. I don't know why I'm blue. Alright, sorry about that. At least you can see my cigarette. Um, Council of Ephesus, or not Council, Council of Constantinople. So, <clears throat> after the period known as uh, Athanasius Contra Mundo, um, Athanasius Against the World, I think it was around 380 that the, uh, the Second Council was called. Arianism was still rife, still everywhere. And they, Theodosius wanted to go back to uh, the correct way. I believe this was after Julian the Apostate, when he tried to turn the Roman Empire back into pagan, uh, tried to revoke the Edict of Tolerance, and it was under Theodosius that actually the Empire became Christian, not under Constantine. I hate this when people say, oh, Constantine made the Empire Christian. He absolutely did not. He just made it, he just stopped persecuting Christians and said anybody can worship however they want. Um... So we already had we already had the Nicene Creed, which goes, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, that's Homo Usia, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the from heaven, was incarnated of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended to heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the father and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead or the living and the dead he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end so that's what that was um at the council of constantinople they established that christ was from Christ was eternally begotten, begotten, you know, as it says here, begotten before all worlds. Um, does it say before all worlds? Begotten of Father before all worlds. I believe that part was added to, and um, so then it was about the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit a blind force? What is the Holy Spirit? Is it like Jehovah's Witness say, a blind force? No, it is not. It's not an it, it's a he. The Holy Spirit's a he. In some cases, a she, because pneuma is, pneuma is in the feminine. That's why in many Catholic Bibles, uh, you'll hear, and she breathed God and her breath, that kind of thing. Which is a correct translation. But Holy Spirit is in the dominant, so it's in the masculine, so it's he. When you refer to the Holy Spirit, he did something. So this is what was at it at Constantinople. That's why it's called the Nicaea Constantinopolitan Creed. Short, the Nicene Creed. This is the part that was added, the the final third. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of Life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is rich and glorified. Right there, you saw me make. You, I don't know if you saw me make the sign of the cross or not, but the Roman Catholics would later add. Um, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, that's filioque, and the Son, which is not in the Orthodox, um, is not in the Orthodox version of it, but it is in the Western Catholic, and it is in the Anglican and the Lutheran. They kept that from the Catholics. So it is, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, comma, stop, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified. That's where you make the sign of the cross, because you're invoking all three members of the Trinity who spake by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Now, I already went over what Catholic means, and these are this is what was given down by the apostles, so apostolic church. I believe in one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And this is what is said in every Orthodox church, everywhere, in all services. And... Uh, Maybe not in Orthros or Matins. Uh, some people call it ortho Orthros, others call it Matins. Um, now, 
it's said in all the Western churches too, except for uh, they add and the Son when it says proceedeth from. But the Eastern Church looks at that as Neoplatonism. Um, some people don't use this and say, well, we use the Apostles' Creed, that's old. They're wrong. The Apostles' Creed is not as old as this. It may be an ancient baptismal creed, but it's not as old as this. There were ancient baptismal creeds older than this, that's true, and that's because uh, the, the, the Nicene, um, it's because this was taken off of an older baptismal creed. And this is, this is the book that, I, that I'm using. There, there you go. This is the Antiochian Orthodox prayer book. Um, so that's the Council of Constantinople. It's clearing up, uh, who, because they already had cleared up who Christ was um, at Nicaea. This was clearing up who the Holy Spirit was. Then we'll get to the Council of Ephesus, uh, which deals with the with the Theotokos. Now, these the Constantinople and and Nicaea are the only two councils that the Assyrian Church accepts. The Assyrian Church is not in communion with the um, Eastern Orthodox Church or the Orientals, because the Orientals will accept Ephesus, and I'll get to that in a, a later video of who accepts what. Peace to you, may God save Serbia, and hopefully my camera will be... It does, does it look like... No, it's still got that shade of blue. Alright, peace to you, may God save Syria and Serbia.